I'm going to show you how to calculate the saturation concentration of things if you're given the KSP. If you're looking for an easy way out though, here's a summary. If you have an ionic compound and you have one of the cation and one of the anion, NaCl, one and one, KBr, RBF, AGI, there's only one of each kind of ion, your concentration is just the square root of your KSP. Done. I'll show you how to derive that in a second, but if you're just looking for the easy answer, there it is. If you've got a solution of AB2, so that's like PBI2, CACL2, BAF2, see they all have a little 2 at the end? Then the concentration at saturation is the cubed root of your KSP divided by 4. Finally, if you have a little 3 at the end, FeCl3, AlF3, or SCOH3, your concentration at saturation is the fourth root of your KSP divided by 27. But how in the world do you even get that? Let me show you quick as I can. When you dissolve a compound AB in solution, for example, NaCl or AGI, then what you get is that solid dissolving into your A ion, AQ, and your B ion, AQ. So, your equilibrium expression is just the concentration of your A ion times the concentration of your B ion. If you do an ice table, you're going to get the same concentration of each of these because one of these dissolves to make one of these and one of these. So they got the same concentration. What is that concentration? I don't know. Let's call it x, which is x squared. And so how do you solve for that concentration? You take the square root. And that's why the saturation concentration is the square root of your KSP when it's 1 and 1. Let's do this for AB2. When you have something like AB2 dissolving in water, that solid goes to make an A minus ion and two, oh sorry, A plus ion and two, oh, an A2 plus ion, darn it, and two B minus ions. Long story short, because there's a little 2 here, the concentration of B is going to be double what the concentration of A is. So when you do your equilibrium expression, not only are you going to get a square on your B minus from the 2, but the concentration of B is going to be double what the concentration of A was. See how it's 2 times? When you multiply these out, you get 4x cubed. How do you solve for x here? You've got to divide by 4, then take the cubed root. And that's why the saturation concentration for these compounds is the cubed root of your KSP divided by 4. Yeah. Same story. When AB3 dissolves in water, you get an A ion and you get three B minus ions, both dissolved in water. Your equilibrium expression has the A in it and it has the B in it, but the B is cubed because you got three of them. Don't forget, because you're making three of them, the concentration of B is three times the concentration of A. Multiply this out, you end up with 27x to the 4. How do you solve for x? You divide by 27 and take the fourth root, or to the power of a quarter. And that's why the saturation concentration of these compounds is the fourth root of your KSP divided by 27. All these expressions just come from the fact that KSP is a regular equilibrium where you're solving for x. Best of luck in your own 
saturation concentration calculations. Cheers.